The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made, made heaven and earth. earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you, before the whole company of heaven and one another, that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh oh Lord, Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we, we pray, pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son and Holy Spirit, by, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 4 Answer me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You set me at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy on me, and hear my prayer. How long will you nobles dishonour my glory? How long will you love vain things and seek after falsehood? But know that the Lord has shown me his marvellous kindness. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There are many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when their corn and wine and oil increase. In peace I will lie down and sleep, for it is you, Lord, only who make me dwell in safety. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Isaiah 30, verse 15 Thus said the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, In returning and rest you shall be saved, In quietness and in trust shall be your strength. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into, Into your hands, hands, O Lord, Lord I, I commend, commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord, God of truth. I, I commend, commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into, Into your hands, hands, O Lord, Lord I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under, under the shadow, shadow of your wings. wings. Blessed is she whose soul was pierced by the sword of the cross. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, 
and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Blessed is she whose soul was pierced by the sword of the cross. As we come to our intercessions and thanks for the day, we give thanks for the safe arrival of Woody and for Scott and Charlotte. And that it wasn't Buzz. <laughs> and that it wasn't Buzz. That's very true. Or leaf, or mud, or river. <laughs> <laughs> or any other name. So, a new baby arrives, and we come to do our prayers. Father, we thank you for the day now past, for the things you've given us, for the places you've taken us, for the light and love, grace you've shown us. And though foolish, wicked people may seek to confound, Father, your truth, your love, your light, opposes all and bring justice. Father, may we be people of love and justice. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. It seems appropriate, Lord, to give thanks for the arrival of Woody today on the day when we commemorate Mary visiting Elizabeth mm. <laughs> and the, the child in Elizabeth's womb jumping with joy as he recognised his Lord and the mother of his Lord. Lord, we thank you for all newborns. Mm. We pray for all pregnancies. We pray for those who may be fearful at this time because of pregnancy, because of past experiences or because of COVID-19 or other things. It can be a worrisome time, but Lord, we just place them in your hands and we thank you that you protect and that you comfort and that you came and you were born as one of us. So Lord, we pray for those who are expecting children, for those who have recently given birth to children we pray for the children who went back to school today, for the mixed blessing that that would have been, for the parents who are anxious, for the school teachers who are afraid and overworked, and for the whole situation, Lord, for the families where perhaps one child went to school when others didn't the disparity that that may have caused, the confusion. Lord, we just pray that our children will be safe and that the families that they return to will be kept safe also. And that as we try to find some level of normality, we would do it with wisdom and with a sense of a sense of patience and not running too quickly into things 
doing it methodically and sensibly. One step at a time. Lord, in your mercy, hear mm -hmm. our prayer. Father, we pray for peace in America mm -hmm. as the breaking news almost immediately posted finds that an autopsy has identified that George Floyd, who died in Minneapolis, died of asphyxia. Duh. And Lord, that means murder, maybe not in the th third degree at all, but that also means more rioting, more disturbances, more people clamouring for justice. Lord, we pray that justice will be done, yes, not lost, Lord. Yes, Lord. in the rioting and in the wrong behaviour of those aggrieved. Lord, we pray for all those tonight who go about their work. For our police, fire brigade, ambulance mm -hmm. and the NHS workers. Yes, Lord. For those from the funeral directors who are also on the front line dealing with collecting bodies. Father, you call us to always show justice, always to exhibit mercy, and to never think ourselves above or better than others. Father, we pray that around the globe tonight people would think of who they are, who they serve, yes, and Lord. how they should act. Yes, Father. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah, our prayer. prayer. And Father, we thank you for the example of the police officers in Miami, who as the protesters approached their precinct, came out and knelt and asked forgiveness. And then protesters and police together prayed. Lord, may that image go viral. May that message be the one that people pick up mm. and emulate. May forgiveness be the key to peace and to a more equal nation. Lord, we pray for our own nation, for the inequalities that exist here, often hidden, often more subtle than they are in the United States, but they're still there. Whether it's because of race, religion, sexuality, whatever it is, Lord, teach us to see our fellow human beings as the same as us, to see them through your eyes, to stand with those who are oppressed and to recognize our own prejudice, to be prepared to be uncomfortable and to work together to erase that sense of discomfort and to replace it with equality, justice, mercy, humility. Lord, in your mercy, yeah, hear our, our prayer. prayer. So, Father, as darkness falls, we lift to you those we love. Our family members, our friends, those we know with problems, body, mind or spirit. Those who are struggling through fear of the virus, 
those whose jobs are unsafe. Father, we pray that your spirit would rest on each and every person for whom we pray tonight, as it does on all creation, yes. in a special way, in a real way, in a way that touches and proclaims the love of a God who takes on himself flesh to die for us. Yes. Father, shine your light into our darkest places. Bring us blessing, bring us peace, and make us a blessing, we pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And Lord, as we prepare to go to our beds, we just lift to you those we love. Mm. And we ask you to be close to them. To comfort them, to protect them, to keep them safe this night. And always. Lord, give them the knowledge of your presence with them. Give them your wisdom to live as you desire. Mm. Lord, give them the joy of knowing that you are their God and that they are yours and nothing can separate them from your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And the collect for today. Mighty God, who is by whose grace Elizabeth rejoiced with Mary and greeted her as the mother of the Lord. Look with favour on your lowly servants that with Mary, and may magnify your holy name and rejoice to acclaim her Son, our Saviour, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen. Amen. And so we gather our prayers together and pray using the words that Jesus gave us. Our, our Father, Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the, the night, night is at hand, hand and the, the day, day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so, so do, do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Amen. So as the words say, thank you for joining with us. We hope you sleep well and wake refreshed for another day of blessing. May the Lord watch over you. May he bless you.